There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Venkman, Stamp, and Spangler are here. So are these ah. ghosts. They've got exoplasm. We've been gooed. Now what? Stay puff Marshmallow Man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate Neutrona Blaster. <laughs> we ain't afraid of no ghosts. Peter Venkman, Ectoplasm, Stay Puft, Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. What's up, you beautiful collectors and action figure fans? It's the one and only off the bottom is coming at you with another video review. And boy, does that commercial bring back memories. Back in 1986, I was eight years old, and I was a massive Ghostbusters fan. The problem, though, was that I was also a big fan of a lot of other things. Whether it be Ninja Turtles, Transformers, Thundercats, Silverhawks, whatever. There was a lot of stuff that was cool. And as big of a Ghostbusters fan as I was, I was also a pretty poor Ghostbusters fan. Now, my parents did everything that they could to get me and my sister pretty much whatever we wanted for things like our birthday or Christmas. But one thing that I never, ever got were brand new Ghostbusters figures. Whether it be these, the Ecto-1, the Firehouse, so many cool toys for the real Ghostbusters were available for us kids to play with. And I'm trying to think, but in terms of role-playing toys, this was also a line that had a lot of them. I mean, we had the Ghost Trap, we had the PK emitter, we had the uh, Proton Pack, all sorts of things so that you could run around and pretend to be a Ghostbuster with it. Now, fast forward all the way to 2020. Kenner is no more. However, Hasbro owns the rights to Kenner and everything basically that they did, including the original real Ghostbusters figures. So what do you do when you get a new Ghostbusters movie that's going to be coming out that really does look like it's more or less geared to those original Ghostbusters fans? Well, release a whole bunch of Ghostbusters stuff. The problem is, in 2020, we also got COVID-19, which pushed back a lot of movies, including the upcoming essential sequel to the Ghostbusters, that being Ghostbusters Afterlife being done by none other than Ivan Reitman's son, Jason Reitman, and meant to directly be a sequel to the 1984 Ghostbusters and 1989 Ghostbusters 2 film. And as far as we know, essentially ignoring the events from the Ghostbusters Answer the Call film that we got a couple years ago. Now, as I said, this is kind of to tie in with that movie, and Hasbro has done a magnificent job. Basically, the entire first series of real Ghostbuster figures is being released. That being all of the main characters, plus a couple of the ghosts that came out. And like I said, this is all meant to really hype up that new Ghostbusters Afterlife film. And while that one's been now delayed to 2021, when it was originally supposed to come out, I believe July of this year, the toys didn't get delayed, and I'm happy. But I am worried that that disconnect could hurt the toy sales. Because obviously toys are going to sell even better when there's a film with a lot of free advertisement on television. So I'm hopeful that these don't get kind of glossed over and make Hasbro kind of reevaluate their uh, toy franchise, their toy tie-in with the film. In addition to these, we're also getting some super articulated, heavily detailed original cast from the original film as part of what they're calling the Plasma series. Those, I think, are getting a mass release. These Kenner reissues here in North America are exclusive to Walmart stores. So if you are looking for them, that's where you're going to need to go. Part of me doesn't even want to open these, but I absolutely love them. The recreation of the packaging on these with the vintage ones is outstanding. Looking at the front, it's almost identical. All the way down from, you know, the, the action zapping ray to where how the bubbles are and everything to the animation there in the back all look amazing all the way down to them using the Kenner logo which is fantastic as you can see 
all of them are different. You have the different characters on each of the packages. So you can see you got Egon, you got Peter, and of course you have Winston right there. And then you also have their ghost. So it all is a different card. Then you come around to the back. Now the backs of them are all identical, but again, absolutely amazing recreation of that original package. Much like it, you have the, uh, the four Ghostbusters up there. These are the two additional ghosts that you got in that first run. That being the Stay Pub Marshmallow Man and the Green Ghost, which why they don't call them Slimer, I, I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, the only thing that's missing is this piece right here was like slid over. Or the Hasbro logo obviously was not there. And right here was uh, one of those role play toys. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was the the one that looked like the uh, Neutrona wand, but uh, with the projection on there. So that's missing. So I don't know if we're going to be getting that. If they were going to be releasing it, they would probably have it on there, which is unfortunate. They don't have it, but it is what it is. I'm happy with the figures. But these are all the ones that are available, including these. And like I said, they are available exclusively at Walmart. I also really like how they have right around the uh, hanging tag. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to come across. You can, yeah, you can kind of see it. It's got this like little reinforced piece of plastic. Like I said, uh, these look amazing to the point where uh, this is the only set that I was able to get. But when it starts hitting my stores, I'm going to buy all of these again and keep a, a set of these in package. Just because I think it looks really cool. Nicely throws back to those original ones. But as you can see, we have Ray Stance, Egon Spengler, of course, Peter Venkman, and Winston Zedmore. And we're going to be reviewing all of these guys right now. So without further ado... Let's get these guys out here and see how cool they actually are. Oh. We now return to the real Ghostbusters. And here they are, back again. The 2020 re-releases of the Kenner real Ghostbuster figures. And these are everything that I hoped they would be. Starting off first with Winston Zedemore, because Everybody kind of forgets about Winston. If you go back to the beginning part of this video when I showed that commercial, uh, they didn't even have Winston in there, which kind of stinks. It wasn't until a later commercial where they were also advertising the Ecto-1 that they finally brought him out, but he was a part of that first wave of figures. So kind of is lame that they didn't include him. Now, the backpacks or proton packs, I should say, can be removed. We're going to set them off to the side. One thing that uh, I do want to say is, well, yes, uh, my parents couldn't really afford to buy me all of these. There was a lot of Ghostbusters. There was a lot of vehicles. There was a lot of play sets. Uh, I did get some. Most of them were when I found them at flea markets and such. So I did have Ghostbuster toys, just never really any new ones. Um, one thing that I will say is that the, the plastic uh, or material that they're using on these feels very gummy uh, by comparison. Now, I mean, that that might just be the way that my memory re re remembers them, um, but these are a lot more uh, gummy uh, than I recall. One thing that I absolutely love about these is that they do a really good job of recreating how the characters look from the, uh, the likeness for the most part, all the way down to the color of their jumpsuits. Which another thing that I really liked about the real Ghostbusters is it was essentially in canon with the movies. And that was established in the episode Citizen Ghost, which was a flashback episode that took us back to the events immediately after the 1984 Ghostbuster film, right after they got done battling Gozer and the Stay Pub Marshmallow Man. They're going back to the firehouse in their 1984 jumpsuits, and they're discussing about rebuilding the firehouse. Egon then mentions that they need to also destroy their original jumpsuits because it's so, well, they're so full of psychokinetic energy that it would be basically bad and it just so happens that janine had a box of brand new uniforms and that's where these come in so i like how they explain the different sort of look for these guys now consequently those jumpsuits which were given to peter to destroy he never did he just threw them in a box down by the new uh, containment unit and those suits did 
harness in extra energy and basically created specter images of all of these guys. It's a really great episode. I love it. And like I said, I really like how the toys nicely recreated those uh, looks in it. And I like how the look of the cartoon carried over from the films. With Winston here, you can see he's got a, I, I don't even know what color it is, it, greenish, kind of a very light green sort of jumpsuit. You got the nice Ghostbuster logo right there. Nice detail for the head. You got his hair, you got his eyes all painted very nicely. Sculpt wise, you can see a lot of really nice detail in there. Uh, now, I've never, I mean, I remember having these two guys, but I don't remember enough. I mean, it, my memory is really out of whack and I don't have the original toys. So in terms of minute differences, I really can't detect too many. They look how I remember them though. So I, I do remember watching one video where like they talked about uh, the wrinkles on his sleeve being a little bit different, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, th this is basically how I remember them. Uh, now, like I said, quality wise, it does feel good. It just feels a little bit gummy. Uh, the Proton Pack, it can plug in. I feel like the original one kind of clipped in a little bit more. This just kind of seems the friction inside because it's a softer material. Then you have the little rope right here. Not a lot of detail in the Proton Pack. Unfortunately, you can see you got like a little radioactive logo there on the side here. You got the little Ghostbuster logo, which is nice. I also feel like it doesn't, it clips in a little bit harder. You kind of have to twist it to get it to come off. Now, one thing that always kind of annoyed me was you had to put it that way because you have the proton stream. You can't remove it. Um, but everybody knows that the wand should be like this for them to reach over and grab it. But because of this little effect, you kind of have to put it that way, which kind of annoyed me. But you would slide this in like that in his hand, and then you would rotate this and the little effect. Uh, absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, trying to get him to hold it in there pretty decently. It, it just kind of falls out. I mean, I don't want to go over some, but I guess that helps hold it in a little bit more. Uh, so you do have that gimmick, which is great. You can see that's a little bit more yellow of a proton stream. And then he comes with his ghost accessory, which this is the chomper ghost. Um, it's got a hole underneath here. Uh, I don't really remember. I know Egon's kind of has a purpose. I don't really remember what his was supposed to be. Maybe just go put it on your finger or something. If you guys know if there's a specific reason why there's a hole under here, let me know. But you can see that it's molded in this kind of reddish plastic. Really very fun looking as well. I don't know if you can really put this on his head. Not, not really. That doesn't really fit on there and have him hold it or something. But uh, you do have that. All of them come with it and... I mean, I'm just super, super giddy and excited. Uh, Articulation-wise, there's only five points of articulation. The heads are on swivels. The shoulders are on swivels. You can see that the hands are sculpted in uh, certain poses. This one is kind of like, I'm going to shake your hand. This one is like, what's up, man? I, I don't know, honestly, what that is supposed to be. Like a fist bump thing, I guess. I don't know. And then you have swivels here at the hips. That's about it. Uh, they do have little holes on the bottom in case you wanted to use any kind of display stands. Uh, all of them are pretty good at standing for the most part. Uh, I do know that also one thing that I saw that in terms of a difference is that uh, the old Kenner figures had the copyright stamp on their butts. It's now on the bottom of their feet, which is a much better place for it. But overall, absolutely gorgeous. Are they lacking some paint details, uh, especially here like in the, the Proton Pack? Yeah, but I'm okay with it. Now, moving on to uh, Peter Venkman again. Uh, same Proton Pack, identical. The only thing that's different is it's a neon greenish sort of stream right there. You can detach that as well. Uh, again, the figure feels a little bit gummy, but the paint is really very nice on it. You got the paint for the hair, really kind of creepy green eyes. I mean, the green eyes match with this. I mean, that's really kind of creepy. Got the very nice Ghostbuster logo. You got the straps coming around. Got some molded in detail right here with like a little walkie talkie. Uh, both of his hands are kind of reaching out. Nothing too spectacular with that. Uh, and then he also has that same level of articulation. The swivel there, there, and there. Comes with his little ghost buddy. Let's put this back on here. Of course, Let's, uh, like I said, you kind of have to twist that to get that off. Put that in there. 
He holds that really nicely. Again, you can have him fighting ghosts and goblins as well. And then taking a look at his little ghost. This is the grabber ghost. Um, just reaching up, grabbing. Like, no, nah, I'm going to grab you. No, hold my hand. I don't know. Uh, done in a kind of bluish color. Uh, there's no holes or anything like that. So literally, it just looks like he reaches up and grabs you. So no, stop it. Or maybe, you know, maybe you could go something like this. Because he's grabbing you, right? So just like go like that. I mean, hey, that it's what they all kind of do. I mean, uh, I guess maybe Chomper Ghost, you can have him. Eh, maybe you go like this. Have him chomping like that. So, I mean, all of the, the names of the ghosts kind of tell you what they basically do. So pull this out. Uh, one thing that I would like to say, though, with this is with the gummier plastic, uh, I'm a little bit more concerned about the paint when it comes to putting this on there because you can't have to put it in there and then get the hand to hold it. Um, so I'd be concerned over time about wearing the the paint detail off. So just keep that in mind. And then we come to uh, my favorite Ghostbuster. Here we have Egon. Again, the backpack can be removed. Same molded detail. The uh, stream now is done in a pinkish red. Uh, I guess that's a little bit more red. This is a little bit more neon. I mean, all of them are kind of neon colors, I, I suppose. So you do have that. Again, I really do wish there was some extra paint detail in it, but it is just all done in a blue plastic. Now with Egon, you got his uh, really nice blue eyes. You got his glasses sculpted in there with some nice red rims, white for the lenses, uh, crazy yellow hair. He's got a little bit uh, darker of a green jumpsuit. His was brown, obviously, again, different slightly, but again, slightly gummy with the plastic. So um, I don't know how I really feel about that. It's definitely unfortunate the harder plastic of the original ones was a little bit better uh, now he comes with his ghost obviously and this is the gulper ghost um so you can do this put his put him in there and have him eating although his head's kind of big so you kind of have to go off on the side let's try yeah so do something like that uh that's his ghostly gimmick of sorts uh egon with his proton pack can remove that like i said you kind of have to twist it which i don't like uh too much I, I feel like that's stretching a little bit more you got his you can rotate that that's my sound effects guys i'm sorry so again same level of articulation swivel 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 uh his arms kind of stick in a little bit more maybe if i heat it up i can get his arms to uh, be out a little bit more so it doesn't look as kind of strange so there's egon now here we come to ray as you can see all of these guys are standing perfectly fine uh ray though has a bit of a problem and i don't know if it's mine or what but he as you can see stands fine without the proton pack you put the proton pack on him though and this is why I was having him hold it, because it counterbalances it. You put the proton pack on him, and he just falls. So you kind of have to lean him forward a little bit. That's not bad, but I feel bad for poor Ray. And it's weird, because he's got a big belly, so it really should counterbalance him. I don't know if maybe his feet are a little bit too small. They're, I mean, no, they're the, basically the same feet, so... Uh, I don't really know why it's like that. He is a little bit shorter, um, but you gotta, you, you'd gotta you have to put his arms out to kind of counter, and that doesn't even work. I mean, so that's why I had him holding he, his proton wand, uh, the neutrino wand. Um, but you can see that like his, when you hold it, it doesn't, it kind of rotates around. So you kind of have to wiggle it back a little bit more. But when you do that, that counterbalances him decently. So he stands forward a little better don't know why that is honestly it's 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 weird to me uh, but same kind of gummy plastic good detail with the head he's a little bit shorter like i mentioned i'm just going to take this off uh, all of these figures are they're fairly small uh, if you're not familiar with uh, old 80s toys here is stargazer he's uh, from the silverhawks line you can see that's roughly about the figure size and they, they all kind of vary. So uh, bringing out my tape measure, um, Winston is about five inches. 
Peter is a little bit less than five inches. Egon's a little bit more, about five, five and a quarter. And Ray is a little bit less than five. So uh, I like the fact that the sizes are all different across the board. That looks really nice. Uh, for Ray, his is probably the closest to the original jumpsuit color that we got. It's, it's a light brown. Uh, I would probably say in between these two would probably be the more accurate jumpsuit color but in, it, it is what it is uh ghostbusters logo you got the straps you got the boots all that stuff uh, maybe i mean it kind of looks like his feet kind of go out maybe that's part of the problem again i could probably heat that up um just bending it like that so i mean that might help things out i don't know and then taking a look at his uh stand him there taking a look at his little purple ghost this is the rapper ghost uh obviously because you can have this wrap around you and and go with that so uh there they are the and he kind of has a hard time standing too uh the real ghostbusters super fun super exciting really uh a franchise that i loved as a kid um i love the ghostbusters i've had a, i've been going back and re-watching them um just recently because i i knew i was going to be getting these and i was getting really into it again uh to the point where i have an ecto-1 on the way uh i have a firehouse on the way uh that's one thing about being an adult that is cool that if you could not get these figures when you were a kid you can do it now as an adult um and it's it allows you to relive that childhood and i mean it's amazing it, it really really is uh getting all these guys kind of set up just to uh have a little bit of a fun kind of pose uh I, I i mean i cannot recommend these enough to you guys if you're a fan of the original uh real ghostbusters these are these are great to pick up uh and, and they're they're fairly reasonable price they're only 15 dollars but like i said they are exclusive to walmart stores so you are going to have to find them oh, seeing that kind of throws the balance off so you're going to have to find them at your local walmart but uh as i said i do believe that they're going to be hitting mass retail fairly easily um i don't think that they're going to be too hard to find especially since it's walmart so because it's walmart most walmart stores are usually pretty good about uh getting enough product for things you know target's usually pretty crappy let, let's be honest uh, walmart though usually goes pretty decently with with their stuff so i would expect these to be in fairly decent quantities uh if you're looking for them uh, i do know case wise i want to say that i i forgot th there's one of them that it, or two of them i think uh and i don't remember which two they are so i, I apologize but uh case wise it's like he only comes one in a case and he only comes one in a case i think um i'm not a hundred percent sure so uh, you, you may have a little bit of difficulty finding them, but if you're looking for them, I would absolutely recommend picking them up. Hell, I'm going to get another one just so I can keep them displayed in the package as well. But if you are a Ghostbuster fan, this is a great way to get these original vintage style figures again. The price is good, but the nostalgia is even better. So, all that being said, if these are figures that you would like to add to your collection, they are hitting various Walmart locations right now. So, if you are looking for them, good luck and happy hunting. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Before you go, I'd really appreciate if you would do one very small thing for me. And that's simply just to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who, through their continued support, now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.